Today I got an HP 17.3 inch laptop. I'm going to show you how to open up and get access to the hard drive so you can replace it with the new SATA SSD. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today for this video, it's going to be kind of a short little video, but I have a HP 17 inch, 17.3 inch laptop. It's a little bit of an older one, but it's real good shape. Customer doesn't do a whole lot of heavy duty stuff on it. It's got a 7th gen Core i5, 8 gigs of <clears throat> memory, and but it's still got a one terabyte mechanical hard drive that came with it new. I'm simply going to Show you how to open this thing up get access to the hard drive i'm going to remove it and i'm going to clone it onto a brand new uh, crucial mx 500 250 gig um, solid state sata drive um, that's just going to be the quickest way to get this done for them i'm going to do the cloning over on my cloning station so this video will not show you the cloning process but i have tons of other videos you can check out on my channel where i do lots of different methods for cloning so but for this video mainly I'm just going to show you how to open this bad boy up so let me go ahead and shut it down <clears throat> gonna get it right it's just sluggish it takes a long time to boot up gotta wait for it quite a bit so we're gonna add some zip to it with the SATA SSD these do wonders on these types of laptops so as soon as the power light goes off here I'm gonna get into it they're not too hard to open up just waiting for the light to go off here. Come on, HP. But after I get the, the hard drive cloned under the new SATA SSD, I'm going to do a kind of a full tune up on it. I am going to update him to the new um, uh, version, version of Windows 10. The 21H1 version just came out about a week ago. Good Lord. See, this, thing, this thing's just slow. It's going to work great, though, when we're done. Guaranteed. Just waiting for it to shut off, guys. Bear with me. All right, there it goes. It's off. So, going to unhook my power cord. Going to flip it open. First thing I'm going to do is remove the battery, unlock it, slide it out. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to use a number one Phillips. Or I'm sorry, number zero Phillips. There's three, three screws underneath the battery we have to pop out get those out of the way then there's going to be four screws that you can't see that are underneath the corners of each of these little rubber feet you gotta you gotta pry this the these little rubber feet little rubber feet up there's a screw in each corner it's not too difficult and then they should stick right back down if not just throw a little bit of adhesive or something under there all right guys i'll be right back all right guys i'm back sorry about the interruption last minute before the holiday week and everybody's waiting till the last minute to bring in their stuff for me to fix so it's kind of normal around here anyway you got I took out these three screws underneath the battery and best thing well let's get this screw out we can slide the optical drive out over here and it should you know, let's get the magic tool i just got a paper clip that i'm going to use here Stick it in the release hole on the side of the optical drive. Pops right out. Kind of jiggle it. Don't really want to pull on the bezel. It ends up coming off and sometimes it breaks and you don't want to do that. So <clears throat> Sometimes there's screws under here, but in this case there is not. So I'm going to go ahead and take my sharp little tool here and pull up these little rubber bumpers and there's one screw underneath of each one of these all these screws are the same same length and type so I have to worry about which hole for which screw again when you pry oop, when you pry these up if there's a little See, there's a little um, stub that goes back down the hole. They lock in there pretty good. So let's keep working our way around. Get these out. Just try not to scratch your chassis if you can help it. I 
one more over here. <clears throat> All right, so we got those out. Now there's one right here, a screw here, there's one here and one here that we have to get out. There's not one underneath this little spot here, it looks like it, but there's not. Oh, I was wrong. I thought these were all the same. My bad. Just a second. These screws here on the side here are considerably longer than all the ones I just took out. <laughs> uh. So just remember what screws go where, guys. All right. So we got these three out under the battery. We got the corner screws out and these two long ones on the side right here. And then the, this one here in the front, which is the same as the one in the corners. Okay, guys? Oh, that's nice. Sounds like a chunk of something floating around in there. I don't think the customer's ever opened it up. So I'm gonna hit the battery or the power button a few times here just to make sure all the residual juice is gone. And I just take my plastic spudger tool. Now be careful when you got, once you get the screws out on these hinges here, it's kind of nothing really holding it together back here. So be careful moving the lid back and forth. So I'm just gonna get my spudger in the seam, in the seam, kind of get it clicking and started here. Gotta be careful along where the optical drive is because that plastic on the along the side is very, very thin. You don't want to break it if you can help it. You can hear a lot of clicking and snapping, but that's totally normal. Just getting in the seam here where the palm rest meets the bottom. Kind of wraps around there. <clears throat> to be gentle as you can. So I'm going to carefully close it. And see if I can get it get it to come up and try not to touch anything inside if you don't have to guys and always protect yourself against static di discharge use an ESD wristband you see that comes off without too much difficulty just if not just do a little gentle jiggling and along the back is where it's a little stubborn so like I said don't touch anything you don't have to here's our hard drive right here in this caddy that I have to pop out there's no screws it's just kind of a friction fit we have to pull it out but first I'm going to get this cable out of the way so I'm going to flip this little white lever up right here it's going to flip, flip oh there, there's that piece what is that well let's see Something left over from the factory, it looks like. Everything's where it's supposed to be, it looks like. So anyway, I'm gonna flip this little lever up right here. Release this cable carefully, hold it back. Try not to kink it if you can help it. I'm gonna grab the hard drive caddy here and just kind of give it a little gentle tug. Slide it back, just like that. And again, there's no screws for this caddy. It's just kind of a friction fit. See, it comes off pretty darn simple. So we're gonna, once I clone this hard drive onto the new SATA SSD, I'm gonna put this, this one back in the same way. Button it back up, turn it up. It'll probably do a scan disk or something. That's normal. So let me go and get the cloning process done, guys. Um, this model does have an extra RAM slot right here. So it's got eight gigs. You could add another eight gig stick if you wanted to, to get it up to 16. Um, CPU fan, Wi-Fi car, optical drive goes in over there. Not a whole lot more stuff to upgrade. There is an older style M.2 SATA slot right over here. I talked to the customer about that. If there was a slot, I told him just to go with this. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, but this is not an NVMe slot. It's just a, it's a 2280, I believe. Yeah. So anyway, you have that option if you wanted to put an M.2 SATA drive in there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my, oops, get my cloning all taken care of, and I'll be back in a few minutes. 
All right, guys, I'm back. I got the drive all cloned, the two and a half inch HDD hard drive on the new SATA SSD. So let's go ahead and put it back in and see what happens. We gotta hate these caddies, they're annoying. So bear with me while I get this mounted. <sighs> Sorry if you can't see me there, guys, but you just gotta finagle this back into the holes very rubbery and stretchy <clears throat> all right just got to get it in there kind of only goes one way we're getting these little rubber doohickeys mounted back there is a pain in the butt so we're gonna <clears throat> oops uh, did i put that in backwards No, actually, I didn't. Ah, these things are just... I do not like these caddies. If you want to call it that. Just got to get these little, little guys here lined back up and pushed down in so they're not sticking out. Basically, it's kind of a friction pit. All right, we're gonna reattach our little IO board cable here. We can see that. Snap that down. <clears throat> All right. All right, let's see what kind of clone we got. Clone took a little longer than I thought. It was gonna take on these HPs though, they're just all a little bit different. Snap it back in place here. I'm not going to put all the screws back in <clears throat> until I know I got a good clone, so to speak. I'm going to put the battery back in and the optical drive real quick. So I'm going to go back to my number zero Phillips. <clears throat> Nice, we're good there. Mr. Battery back in. Please put me back in. Ah, these laptops are just so cheap, so to speak. CD-ROM drive, DVD. I'm gonna mount that back in just for kicks. All right, like I said, I'm gonna put the rest of the screws back in the four corners here. And these, once they know, I don't have to take it back apart for some reason. I will plug in my power cord though. Oops. All right, so I'm gonna turn it on. Now after this type of clone that I did outside the computer, it's probably going to do a quick scan of the partition. It's totally normal, so just got to be patient while it does that. And sometimes it just turns right back off, which is normal. <clears throat> we didn't add more RAM or anything, but still. You can see that very well, but... So I, I'm not going to hit any key. I don't want to skip this. I'm just going to let this go. It's going to do the partitions real quick. The recovery and all the different partitions going to do a quick scan. Sometimes it's really quick. Sometimes it's going to do this. So I'm going to let this go through all the stages, one, two, and three. It should be okay. Typically they are, but it's just something that you have to deal with. Just Windows making sure everything's okay after the clone. But yeah, simple, simple, simple little upgrade.
for the most part. I've done hundreds of these HP laptops, many different cloning methods, and sometimes clean installs when customers come and said, you know what, I don't want anything on there, just make it like brand new. Sometimes I do that, so just have to let it do this again. Come on, HP, you can do it. <clears throat> All right. Kind of at a weird angle here, so. First time booting, like I said, I'm going to get all the update. Well, I'm going to install the latest version of Windows 10. I'm going to go ahead and put 21H1 on it for them. There, we got a good clone. We're all set. It's going to be a whole lot quicker, a lot snappier than it was with the old clunky hard drive. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you like it, give me a like. Don't forget, forget to click the little notification bell. And if you really like it, give me a sub. I'd appreciate it. Have a great day.